videos lo manam 3 to 4 chapters maatrame select chesi important questions with answers discuss cheddam ee first revision video lo ee chapters cover ayyo chuddam tangents and secants to a circle trigonometry application of trigonometry and probability section 1 very short answers first question what is the probability that number selected at random is a mode of the following observations 3 5 4 2 3 2 4 3 2 so manam ee problem lo probability kanukovali probability of what mode of the given number mode ante most repeated value ikkada 3 is repeated 3 times and also 2 is repeated 3 times so 3 and 2 repeated more number of times so manamu probability of 3 or 2 can call it so probability of 3 or 2 any n options in nine, favorable outcomes is 6 total number of possible outcomes is 9 so 6 by 9 and 2 by 3 so second question in a right angle triangle abc right angle at c if tan a is equal to 1 then verify that secant a into cosecant a is 2 so this is a question from trigonometry if tan a is equal to 1 we all know that a value is 45 so in the context tan 45 1 ka batte, obviously a will be 45 degrees so manamu a ni deen tlo replace jc answer 2 was sunda leda chuddam so we will take only secant a and cosecant a students so secant a a value manak telsu cosecant a so cosecant 45 so secant 45 is root 2 cosecant 45 is also root 2 which is also equal to 2 so manu verify jesam secant a into cosecant a is 2 one. third question a pendulum swings through an angle of 60 degrees and describes an arc 9 centimeters in length find the length of the pendulum so to find the length of the pendulum we have to use the perimeter of the sector formula which is nothing but theta by 360 into 2 pi r the theta is 60 degrees which is given in the question 60 by 360 is into 2 pi value is 22 by 7 we don't know the length of the pendulum we will write r as it is where the arc is given as 9 centimeters so we will take 9 is equal to the given value so after calculation we will get the length of the pendulum as 8.6 centimeters we will move on to the section 2 Section 2, fourth question is a question related to tangents and secants of a circle. Find the area of the shaded region of adjacent figure. So, this is the figure and we have to find the area of the shader region. So, when we shader region, can call it, shader region can call it, area of circle and area of rectangle is the area of shader region. So, area of shader region is area of circle minus area of rectangle. Area of circle formula man under the pi r square minus area of rectangle is length into pair. Pi value 22 by 7. Radius m of 5 cm students. If you have to do this, you can do One side is 8, other side is 6. Obviously, this side will become 10. So, e is diagonal 10 now. The radius will become 5 cm each. So, radius will be 5 into 5. Length man 8 cm. Breadth is also given as 6. So, calculation tarvata area of shaded region is 30.5 cm square. Fifth question, the angle of elevation of the top of a tower from the two points at a distance x and y meters from the base and in the same straight line with it are complementary. Draw the suitable diagram for this. So, the diagram will allow to students have a glance on it. Sixth question. A bag contains 6 white, 5 red and 9 yellow balls. A ball is drawn from the bag at random. Find the probability that the ball drawn is red and second one is white or yellow. Total number of balls is 20. 6, six plus 5 red plus 9 yellow. Total number of balls is 20. And under the formula probability of an event is number of favorable outcomes by total number of possible outcomes. So first aim are you to to find the probability of a red ball. Manak any red balls unai, total red balls are 5. So 5 by 20. Total number of balls. So which is nothing but 1 by 4. So second option is P of white or yellow. So white or yellow. White balls in unai, 6 white balls unai, and yellow in unai, 9. So 6 plus 9 is 15. Total number of balls are 20. So 15 by 20 is nothing but 3 by 4. Now section 3. Section 3 one question definite for the long answers low trigonometric question definite question students 
So prove that sin theta plus cos theta by sin theta minus cos theta plus sin theta minus cos theta by sin theta plus cos theta is equal to 2 by 1 minus 2 cos square theta. So to prove RHS, first one main is called under students, LHS is called. So LHS we have taken. If put in a denominator load two different terms into LCM these call students. So take the denominators as is as it is as LCM. LCM this could not cross multiply also sin theta plus cos theta into sin theta plus cos theta is sin theta plus cos theta whole square. Sin theta minus cos theta into sin theta minus cos theta is again sin theta minus cos theta whole square. So, we have a plus b whole square formula apply to a square plus b square plus 2ab sin theta minus cos theta and this is in the form of a minus b whole square. So, we have a square plus b square minus 2ab. So, applying the same formula for sin theta minus cos theta whole square, we will get sin square theta plus cos square theta minus 2 sin theta cos theta. Denominator lo sin theta minus cos theta and a minus b into a plus b form lo undi. So we all know that a minus b into a plus b is a square minus b square. So sin theta minus cos theta into sin theta plus cos theta is sin theta sin square theta minus cos square theta. So numerator lo 2 sin theta cos theta minus 2 sin theta cos theta cancel hai pende. Sin square theta plus cos square theta value is 1. So manaki under del say this is the identity plus sin square theta plus cos square theta again this is also first identity 1 by sin square theta minus cos square theta 2 by sin square theta minus cos square theta so again we have to split this cos square theta as 1 minus sin square theta in the country manandar del sin the first identity sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1 so cos square theta obviously 1 minus sin square theta out the power. So cos square theta plus 1 minus sin square theta replace this. So multiplying minus into 1 is minus 1 minus into minus sin square theta is plus sin square theta. So 2 sin square theta minus 1 which is RHS. We have taken LHS and we have proved answer as RHS. So last question. As observed from the top of a 60 meter high lighthouse from the sea level, the angle of depression of two ships are 45 and 60 degrees. If one ship is exactly behind the other on the same side of the lighthouse, find the distance between two ships. So this is the diagram for the given question students. So 45 degrees and 60 degrees are making an angle with the lighthouse. So first two triangles are A, B, D and A, B, C. So we have to take two conditions here. A, B, D and A, B, C. Don't take this triangle students because it is not a right angle triangle. Manamo, this chapter lo only right angle triangle is discussed. So tan 45. So tan 45 is opposite by adjacent. Here adjacent is B, D. Opposite is 60 meters. So tan 45 value is 1 is equal to 60 by B, D. So B, D will become 60. B, D 1 is B, D which is 60 meters. So height and B, D distance between this ship and B bottom of the lighthouse is 60 meters. Now inco triangle. So this is the right angle triangle. So the name of the right angle triangle is A, B, C. In right angle triangle A, B, C tan 60. In the angle 60 chargavati. Tan value is also opposite by adjacent. Opposite is 60. Adjacent is only B, C. So tan 60 value is root 3, 60 by B, C. So B, C will become 20 root 3 meters. So manaki distance between two ships are gavati. BD minus BC challenge at 60 minus 20 root 3 which gives you 25 25.4 meters in this video we'll discuss first four chapters in math subject very important questions we will discuss with answers so watch the video till the end let's see what questions appeared in section 1 if log 2 power of x into 3 power of y is equal to log 288 then find the values of x and y so two, log 2 power of x into 3 power of y is equal to log 288. We will cancel log on either side of is equal to. So 2 power of x into 3 power of y is equal to 288. Now we will split this 288 in the factors of 2 and 3 students like this. So 288 can be expressed as 2 power of 5 into 3 power of 2. So 2 power of x is 2 power of 5. So x value will be 5. And 3 power of y is equal to 3 power of 2. So y value will be 2. 
write roosted form of set a x such that x is equal to prime number and x is less than or equal to 21 so we know the prime numbers which are less than 21 that is 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 19 we will not write 21 because 21 is not a prime number. Check minus 2 is the 0 of the polynomial p of x is equal to 3x cube plus 2x bar plus 7x plus 8 or not. So we'll, to check whether minus 2 is a polynomial, we have to replace minus 2 in x and if the answer is 0, then it is a 0 of the polynomial. If minus 2 value after replacing in x, minus 2 value is not 0, then it is not a 0 of the polynomial. So, P of X is given as 3X cube plus 2X square plus 7X plus 8. So, P of minus 2 value is minus 22. It is not 0. So, minus 2 is not a 0 of the given polynomial. Find the value of P if PX plus 4Y minus 3 is equal to 0 and X plus 2Y plus 4 is equal to 0 or parallel lines. Such type of questions are very important students. You can expect for board exam. As these two lines are parallel to each other, we know the parallel line condition a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is not equal to c1 by c2. So we will consider only first two because p is in the a1. So a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2. From this two equation a1 is p, a2 is 1 and b1 is 4 and b2 is 2. So p by 1 is equal to 4 by 2. When two fractions are equated we have to cross multiply. So 2p is equal to 4. Obviously p will be 4 by 2 which is 2. So the value of P is 2. We will discuss section 2 now. Show that 3 minus root 2 is an irrational number. We can expect one problem on an irrational number. So to prove it is an irrational number, first we have to assume this value is a rational number. So A by B where B is not equal to 0. So minus root 2 is equal to A by B minus 3 plus 3 goes to that side and it will be equal to 3 a minus 3b by b but here we will remove the negative it will become positive minus 3b will become plus 3b plus a will become minus a by b here a b and 3 are integers and which is rational if right part of the equal to symbol is rational number obviously left side will also be the rational but this is contradiction to our assumption therefore 3 minus root 2 is an irrational number Sixth question, if a is equal to x such that x is equal to n, n belongs to natural number, 3 is less than or equal to n, less than or equal to 8, and b is equal to x such that x is equal to p, where p is whole number, p is less than or equal to 5, then find the value of a union b minus a intersection b. So, this is in set builder form, we have to convert into rooster form students. So, 3 is less than or equal to n, less than or equal to 8 means, a is equal to 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have to include 3 and 8 because less than or equal to symbol is there. So B is x such that P belongs to the whole numbers. P is less than or equal to 5. Less than or equal to 5 is there means we have to include 5 also ranging from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have starting from 0 because whole numbers always starts with 0. A union B is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The elements which are there in both A and B is called A union B. And we should not repeat the elements, friends. A intersection B is the common elements which are there in A and B. So 3 is there in both A and B. 4 is also there. 5 is also there. So A intersection will become 3, 4, 5. So A union B minus A intersection B is nothing but that is 0, 1, 2, 6, 7, 8. If the length of a rectangle is 5 meters more than its breadth and perimeter is 38 meters then find the length and breadth of the rectangle. Breadth is x obviously length will become 5 plus x because breadth length is 5 times more than the breadth. So perimeter of rectangle is given as 38 so we know the formula for perimeter of rectangle that is 2 into L plus B is equal to 38 L plus B will become 38 by 2 which is 19. So length value we have know that 5 plus x, I am replacing length as 5 plus x and breadth value we have taken as x, I am replacing breadth as x. So here x plus x is 2x, I am sending plus 5 to other side, it will become minus 5. 2x is equal to 14, x will be obviously 14 by 2 which is 7. So when breadth is 7, length will be x plus 5 which is 12. So length of the, length of the rectangle is 12 meters and breadth will be 7 meters. 
Eighth question is a question from polynomials that to graph find the zeros of the polynomial x square plus 5x plus 4 using graph. So to find the zeros of the given polynomial we have to take the points like these trends ranging from minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So once you replace these x values with minus 3, minus 2, 1, 2, 3, 4 you will get y values and take these points and plot it in the graph. If you plot it in the graph, the graph looks like this as a parabola. Wherever this parabola or curve meets the x-axis that is the solution of the or zeros of the given polynomial. So this parabola is meeting x-axis at minus 4 and also minus 1. So minus 4 and minus 1 are zeros of the given polynomial. So, 18th question, 18th question is a question from pair of linear equation. We have to find the solution using graph. So, we have to take two points, taking x0 and we'll get y and now we'll take y0, we'll get x. So, two points are enough to draw the straight line students. So, similarly, we'll draw the graph for second equation that is x plus 2y plus 3 is equal to 0. Now we will keep x as 0, we will get y and now y 0, we will get x value. Now these two points of first equation and two points of second equation will plot in the graph. So these two lines, straight lines are meeting at this point. So this point is nothing but the solution of the given equation. So it is meeting x axis at minus 1 and y axis at 2. So x is equal to minus 1 and y is equal to 2 is the solution of the given graph. A is equal to x such that x is the letter in the word mathematics and b x such that x is the letter in the word physical science. Then draw Venn diagram of the sets and find the number of possible subsets of A intersection B. So A, this is in rooster, uh, set builder form, we have to convert into rooster form students. So A is equal to M-A-T-H-E-I-C-S, letter should not be repeated in set. B is equal to P-H-Y-S-I-C-A-L-E-N. So the common elements should be put in this area. It is nothing but A intersection B. And A minus B is the elements which are left out after A intersection B. That is empty. And B set will be P-Y-L-N. So A intersection B obviously A-H-E-I-C-S. So number of possible subsets are 2 power of 6 because number of subset formula is 2 power of N. Where A is number of elements in the set. Here we have 6 elements. So 2 power of 6 is 64. 